What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about two of the channel's favorite projects, the Flare Network and Gala Games. And we got to talk them both because there's major news dropping that these two companies continue their magnificent partnership, and Flare just made a major investment into Gala Games, also making a major statement that they are going to dominate blockchain gaming. So we're going to get into that as well as many other Gala Games updates that are really important as we head into May. So get ready, we start now. This is AI on Crypto. On this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency prices and trends, altcoin gems, and all the things on the blockchain that are gonna fill our bags to the max and we keep each other far away from Rec City. On this channel, we make five to six videos a week about decentralized finance, NFTs, blockchain gamings, and altcoins. If you're into that kind of content, then subscribe to the channel, tap that like button, and let's get ready for the content today. Also, if you really want to help this channel out, if you've never logged on to the Gala Games ecosystem before and you're interested in creating your account in order to explore the games they have, check out the NFTs you can get in their ecosystem. Or if you want to become part of their decentralized network as a node owner operator, earning long-term passive income, please use the referral link in the description below and it helps this channel out. But first, I have to mention, I am not a professional financial advisor. The opinions I express today are for information and entertainment purposes only. All right, so let's get to the Flare Network and Gala Games. So starting out, for those of you that might be new to crypto or new to these projects, what are they? Well, the Flare Network is a smart contract protocol that is being brought to the XRP ledger that is going to bring decentralized finance, NFTs, and smart contract capability to the XRP ledger and the XRP community. They also have layer two functionality, which makes them cross-chain, and they can integrate other blockchains and trade them as F assets layer two on their Flare network protocols and decentralized exchanges. This includes protocols like Polkadot Network, Cardano, Dogecoin, and now Gala Games. So that's the Flare network. And what is Gala Games? Gala Games is a blockchain gaming company that is committed to giving the ownership of the games back to the players. They are driven by a strong mission statement, which has compelled me to really join their community in a hardcore fashion. And basically, they want to give people the ability to earn a living with their passions, right? So their mission statement is to allow people to earn an average income through their gameplay. And they do this by integrating NFTs and digital asset ownership concepts into gaming ecosystems, creating true economies that the game players participate in. So these are the two companies, and let's take a look at what they're doing together. Check out this news right here. This is a Medium article, and it's announcing that Flare has purchased the Citadel of the Moon. The Citadel of the Moon is one of the most exclusive, rare, and incredibly expensive NFTs in the Gala Games flagship video game, Mirandus. Mirandus is a massive online MMO that is a medieval themed game that is really going to be the first massive, massive game that incorporates these brand new concepts like land ownership in game. Shop owners paying rent to these landowners in order to put their shops on the land for the players to come and buy their goods. Supply chains that provide the shops the materials they need to service the customers. And of course, plenty of adventures to go on. Well, in this game, Mirandus, there are five kingdoms and there will never be more than five. And each of these kingdoms is actually for sale, which will create the five original kings of Mirandus. The first two citadels have already been bought and now the Flare Network is buying the fifth kingdom. A citadel is a kingdom. And they have bought the Citadel of the Moon. And get this, they bought this in-game asset, this NFT, for $3.5 million. That's right, the Flare Network just bought a $3.5 million land deed from the video game NFT it's a kingdom. It makes them one of the five kingdoms of Mirandus. And it's basically 
a massive marketing tool for them because Gala Games foresees Mirandus having tens of millions of players. And all of these players at one point or another are going to have to go into this citadel. They're going to see all of the Flare Network items and it's just going to really give the Flare Network a serious presence in this epic groundbreaking blockchain game. So let's take a look at this article and read some of these amazing details. Today, we are delighted to announce that we are in the process of bringing the Gala token itself to the Flare Network. In the future, users will be able to mint their Gala directly to the Flare Network, allowing for essentially feeless and instant transactions without the bloat of the Ethereum Network. To add to this, in the future, Flareback NFTs will have some special buffs in the Citadel of the Moon. In the future, users will be able to mint their Gala directly to the Flare Network, allowing for essentially feeless and instant transactions without the bloat of the Ethereum Network. To add to this in the future, Flare-backed NFTs may have some special buffs in the Citadel of the Moon, which has been purchased by Flare. Let the proclamation resound through every crevice and every gateway in the Magic Land. All right. The land of Mirandus is full of breathtaking beauty, boundless adventure, and wondrous creations. But more magnificent than the mightiest jungle, more pristine than the plains of the east, and more powerful than the raging storms of the western seas are the five great citadels. For countless leagues in every direction, the citadels bless their horizon with their ancient and towering forms. Way back in January of this year, it was first announced that Gala Games would be integrating with the Flare Network, eventually granting the NFTs of Gala Games the ability to be minted and owned on Flare. This is just one of the Gala Games' exciting blockchain solutions in the works to deliver the smoothest and most empowering experience in play-to-earn gaming. Today, today we are announcing that Flare has decided to immortalize their role in the future of Mirandus as well by purchasing the third Citadel, Citadel the Moon. Okay, so you guys can go check out the Medium article. You can find it on the Gala Games Twitter thread if you want to read more of those details. So this is so big for so many reasons. First of all, it continues to drive the hype train of Mirandus. Mirandus isn't even set to launch until probably um, eight to 10 months from now best case scenario. So it's going to be a while before this game is live. So the fact that people are dropping millions of dollars and even non-wells are dropping tens of thousands of dollars or thousands of dollars and certainly hundreds of dollars on these Mirandus NFTs as people get ready to participate in the great ecosystem that this game is going to be. But why is this significant? Well, it really demonstrates that the Flare Network is committed to decentralized finance and specifically blockchain gaming and NFT ownership. And this is huge because everybody thinks of the XRP ledger as this corporate company that's just there for banks to transfer money country to country. Well, Flare was funded by Ripple. Ripple is saying that they're about to go public. So Ripple is moving forward as a massive blockchain company, giving the Flare network really blue chip status. At this point, I, I personally don't think that the Flare Network is going to be a bust just because they're going to have instant community with the XRP family. And there's certainly more than one blockchain gaming company out there. So the fact that the Flare Network is choosing to work so closely with Gala Games, and I haven't really heard of them working with any other blockchain gaming companies, also says a lot about the future of Gala Games and the likelihood of them being one of the blockchain companies that makes it past this initial era and is still here 10 years from now being a super successful organization. So that's the news about the Flare Network and Gala Games. They just bought a $3.5 million Citadel. The Flare Network is going to have a presence in the game of Mirandus and their partnership continues to grow. So moving along, here's some more exciting news out of the Gala Games ecosystem. Frank Miller, the creator of Sin City, signs with Gala Games and Concept Art House to inaugurate the launch of Gala.Art. I made a video recently about the partnership with Concept Art House and Gala. That was big news. And now they're bringing in their first major client, Frank Miller. And this is also kind of a subtle announcement about this Gala.Art, which seems to be something to keep an eye on. Sounds like it might be an NFT marketplace Gala is working on that's independent of their gaming systems. Today, legendary creator Frank Miller is embarking into the NFT space 
bringing his masterpieces to Gala Games. The upcoming release of a series of limited edition Frank Miller NFTs in partnership with Concept Art House is part of the unveiling of the Gala.Art initiative, which seeks to redefine the space by bringing NFTs that last to the collector's market. There are a few people more well-known and beloved in the comic illustration universe than Frank Miller. For decades, audiences and readers have enjoyed his epic tales such as Sin City, Daredevil, 300, The Dark Knight Returns, and many others. He is hands down one of the most prolific and culturally relevant content creators of the last four decades. This year marks the 30th anniversary of Sin City, the acclaimed crime noir series published by Dark Horse Comics that redefined graphic novels. Several months ago, Gala Games and Concept Art House connected with Frank Miller about a commemorative NFT series to immortalize Frank's work. Gala Games and Concept Art House believe that digital assets, whether in-game content or art pieces, will continue to be important parts of our lives going forward into the future. The deal was negotiated by Celine Thomas as CEO of FMI and Leslie Silverman at UTA negotiated the deal on behalf of Frank Miller. Okay guys, again, this is another Medium article. You guys can go check it out if you want each and every detail. What does it say? It says that, dang it, Gala Games is trucking forward. They are a force to be reckoned with. And how well connected are these guys? How well connected are they? You know, no offense to Super Farm. No, no offense to Decentraland. No offense to any of these other major blockchain gaming companies, Sky Mavis, what have you. Are they working with Concept Art House, which is the premier gaming creative services company out there? No. Gal is pretty much the only company doing this at this level. So number one, super cool news. We're about to have even more stuff in the Gala ecosystem for those of us that are already here. But if you're an investor looking at Gala, this is also a good sign that I would be taking note of if I was considering whether or not to jump into this ecosystem. Now lastly, let's go over to Gala.Games and check out on the top, hit the Games tab and you can see the three games. Right there on the top left, you can see Townstar. Townstar is the game that Gala Games currently has active right now. They have, for a while now, been running monthly and weekend competitions for their players, and people have actually been earning incredible rewards in the form of Gala tokens from these Townstar tournaments. Well, they are doing their biggest competition by far this May. You can check it out right here. It says Townstar May Mayhem. Guys, they are giving away $1 million in prizes in May. That is a lot of money to be giving away in over a 30 day time span as a prize, as an incentive to players. So anybody watching this, if you were thinking about trying out Townstar, if you wanted to see what Play to Earn was all about, if you wanted to, if you were curious at all, well, throw your hat in the mix this May because there's a million dollars in prizes up for grabs. And again, guys, I have a link in the description. Use that link in the description when you set up your login and password. And that way, this channel gets the referral bonus. And that really helps us out. So if you want to explore the Gala Games systems, if you want to play their games, check out their art, or if you want to explore becoming a node owner and operator, which gives you long-term passive income, please use that referral link in the description. All right, guys, that's a lot of news to pack into one video. I don't want to overload your head, so we're going to end it right here. If you didn't do it already, tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.